you know, sometimes doing these YouTube videos can make you feel a little bit upside down. You know what I mean? But I'm going to show you how to flip it back the other way just by using a YouTube studio right here, right now. Okay, so I take it you're checking out this video because you're trying to rotate your videos within YouTube, right? Well, the first thing you got to do is go to your YouTube studio. And maybe you didn't know that you also have a YouTube studio button right on the home page of your channel too. So I'm going to tell you right off the bat, y'all stay with me, okay? It's a video that's flipped upside down, not your audio. So right now you should be on your channel dashboard and on the left, there's a menu where you'll be able to click on videos so you can view all the videos that you have on your channel. Isn't that cool? So click video right now and listen, if you don't see videos in there after you click this, then you're watching the wrong tutorial. Well, anyway, if you do have videos in there, then you'll be able to choose one to begin the process. But there's something I got to tell you. This feature of rotating videos within YouTube no longer exists. You want to know why? Because they took it out. But I'm going to show you how to put it back in. Check this out. Once you've clicked on your video, you'll see the YouTube video editor just below on the left hand side. Go ahead and click on it right now. And if you don't know how to find that thing, well, just shoot me a comment. I'll tell you where it is. See, I bet you're getting so excited right now, huh? So remember what I told you, YouTube took out the rotate button. So we got to go put it back in. See that trim button at the very top? Well, if you right click on it, like I just did right now, then you'll see inspect, but don't click on inspect. Follow me to the letter, okay? Just back out of that. Let's go check out another place, okay? How about if we go to where it says add blur and right click on that? You'll see inspect there also, right? But don't click on that one either, okay? I'm gonna take you to a better place. So just click on add blur one time. That's gonna take you into a screen where you're gonna see another trim button, right? How many trim buttons are there? YouTube, come on. So what have I been telling you all this time? Do I have to tell you again? So just right click on the trim button and from there you'll see the inspect button. Now go ahead and click on it, okay? No games this time. And the inspect window will open and this is where we'll do our edits on the HTML code to put that button in, that rotate button that YouTube took out. <laughs> this is so exciting. I feel like somebody's gonna get a warrant for my arrest. But don't worry, they won't be coming for you. Now let's go check out the HTML code. You see that highlighted blue line that I'm hovering over right now? Well, just two lines below that, you're going to see a line that says enhance rotate buttons hidden equals true. See that? Listen, don't get scared. This is real easy. And you don't have to be a programmer to do what it is I'm going to show you how to do. Place your mouse pointer directly over hidden equals true and double click it right now. You see how the music just dropped? Well, that means you're going to have to pay attention. What you need to do is to move your cursor to the right of the quotation, then use your backspace to delete everything that says hidden equals true. So what you're doing right now is removing what YouTube put in to prevent you from having a rotate button on your edits. And from here, all you need to do is to move your mouse pointer and click on any other line, then we'll move to the next step. So right about now, if you look over to your left hand side, after you've done what I told you to do, you should be pleasantly surprised to see that the rotate buttons that were missing, the ones that we used to have before, well, they're back. But there's something else I got to tell you. They're not active. You can't click on them yet, right? You want to know why that is? It's because you have to go to the very top right and click on the X to close your inspect window before those rotate buttons can become active. And guess what? If you look over to your left, you'll see that this assignment is completed and you can thank me later when you see me standing on the corner of Mike Sight Street and YouTube Avenue. Now, let's see if this thing actually really works. Man, those engineers at YouTube are going to be mad at me. Notice every time you hit the rotate button, it will rotate at 90 degrees. So to turn it upside down, you're going to have to click it twice. See what I just did? So you pretty much got it from here, right? But there's just a few more things that I'm going to go over with you just because I happen to like you guys, okay? So at the very top right, you'll see that you can revert to original, you can save as new video, and then there's the save button, right? Well, this is non-destructive editing that we're talking about, okay? What I mean is that you can go ahead and do anything you want to do with these videos and you can always come back to your editor and revert it back to the original video. Now that that's all straightened out, 
let me give some credit to the person who actually inspired me to do this video. All right, you guys, thank you so much for allowing me to do this video for you. You know, Brielli, that was an excellent question you asked me. Thank you so much. You gave me some inspiration. And that's what it's all about. It's about all of us inspiring each other, right? To do what it is that we need to do to get the job done, to solve problems. Those comments and questions are the things that motivate me. It's my passion to do these things for you, okay? So you guys keep it coming. Keep subscribing, like my videos, okay? Hit that notification bell so you guys always know when I got a video coming up, okay? I've been doing more and more, so live every day laugh beyond words right and learn peace you guys i'll see you on the next one